Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this very exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the basics of keying inside of Fusion inside DaVinci Resolve 15. So, here you can see we've got a clip that is, you know, okay. It's not the, the best thing ever, but it's not the worst. We've got a bunch of crap to clean up out here, and it's not the smoothest background, but it's not the worst background ever. So, before we get into the keying, the first thing that you'll see is I've already done some primary grading here, just in the Camera Raw tab, and a little bit over there. So... Just to get a little evened out, since this was shot in log, that'll make it a little bit easier for us to pull a key, or at least it makes it easier for me. I don't know, maybe you like the key log footage for some reason. All right, so now we've got this. We'll go into our Fusion tab, and we'll start making some stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is create what's called a garbage mat, and that basically is, takes out all the stuff in the scene that we don't need, it doesn't interact with our talent, ha, talent in quotes, and basically just stuff we can remove that is garbage. So monitors are garbage, lights are garbage, microphones are garbage, lights are garbage, etc. So we will hit control space to open up our select tool dialog and we'll type in poly for polygon. And right away, we don't even have to view this note. It'll let us draw right on our output. So some people like to mask out the garbage. So that would be going around like this and doing one on each side. I personally like to mask out the subject, but you can do it however you want. This lets you be a little bit tighter and then we can animate it around some. So we've got that. You see right now it doesn't do anything to our image, but we'll just make sure that things are there. And a keyframe is automatically placed, so we'll scrub through some. We'll see that this clip needs some different stuff. So the arm sort of went out there a little bit later on. Looking good. And I know that there's a little hand thing at the beginning that we'll need to, yep, take care of. So pop that out. Looks like we could have made this tighter all along, but that's fine. We don't need this to be a super tight garbage mat. Just to get rid of the stuff. All right. And the next thing we need to do is generate a clean plate. And the clean plate is what our keyer is going to look at and help us get a really nice key. So in order to do that, we're just going to hit control space again and type in clean. And we'll take our output from our media in and bring that into our input in our clean plate. And we'll view this clean plate. See right now? Doesn't look very clean to me. Looks dirty. And there's a couple ways you can go about getting a key on this. There is the color method, which works pretty well in this shot. So if we click and drag this eyedropper over, you can see that works pretty well. It looks like it does a good job. But I normally end up using this ranges control, which lets you box select stuff. You see it takes a little bit more work, but, you know, gives a little bit more control maybe. And in more difficult keys, this really helps out a lot. All right, so now we've got that. If we zoom in, we can see our fringes look pretty good, but we want to just erode this a little bit to make sure we get no color on those edges because the next step is we're going to grow the edges and fill in all these holes. Excellent. So now we've just got all these different shades of green here, which will help us pull a better key. And we'll do that right now by typing in Delta for Delta Keyer, not the airline. And we will shift drag this in line here and automatically puts our media in into our input slot here. And then you'll see some magic happen. We'll take the output of our polygon and we'll put this into our garbage mat. Let's make sure that we are viewing this. And we'll take the output of our clean plate and put it into our clean plate. See, right away we get a pretty good little, little key going there, which is nice. For some reason our polygon isn't working. Let's just go ahead and reconnect this and see if this works out for us. This goes into our garbage mat and we also need to make sure that this is inverted oh look at this our polygon isn't closed so we'll go ahead and close this off and we'll invert that and reconnect it oh looks like it still didn't close off funny one more time there we go now I want this to be inverted and you can see we've got stuff happening here so right now the keys you know pretty decent we get all this detail in the hair but it's a little bit green so we could still refine things a little bit more and if we go into our delta key and we view our status you can see that it could be a little bit nicer in here and that's because looking at this image you can see that there's black white gray and red and red stuff is stuff that's masked out black stuff is stuff that's completely transparent white stuff is stuff that's completely opaque and gray stuff is stuff that is semi-transparent. So you can see that there is some noise in the shirt area that doesn't need to be there because the shirt is not something that's semi-transparent. So what we're going to do to fix that is hop over to our 
match control. And now we can adjust our high and low thresholds. So high, get some of that happening there. And low, get some of those little noisy bits out of there. And then we can restore some fringe. And we know this hair is going to have some fringe. And clean the foreground and clean the background. And if we go back to our final result, see it's looking a little bit better. We still need some spill we need to get out of there. So we'll decide we want our background to be first. So quickly drop in a merge. And we're just going to be boring and go on a white background with this. So background, make this almost all the way white. And brings it to the background and foreground. Nice. Only you can prevent forest fires. Zoom in. Yeah, we can still change this fringe around a little bit. So go into our delta here. And we'll go over to our fringe control. I'll make this a little bit more magenta. Just a little bit. A little bit more yellow. Or not. Now that's looking pretty clean to me. I've got some extra stuff around here. So we can bring our fringe gamma down just a bit. You see that'll sort of bring it in. It sort of shrinks the mask without shrinking the mask, which is nice. That's a great control to have. If we go back and view this context of that. Oh, is there noisy stuff there? Let me save real quick. Let me just render out a couple of these frames here. I don't know. That looks totally fine. So now you can see it may look a little bit complicated at first, but really it's pretty simple, especially on a key that's not the worst key ever. It's a pretty, maybe slightly above average source, not that much above average, but still pretty good. And then of course, as always, you can go back and you can make your subject, you know, as bright as it actually needs to be. And you know, maybe we'll do some secondaries here. Make this guy stand out some. Oh, it's just a little mask and bring our gamma up, gain up, contrast up, pivot down, and an outside node will bring the body down a bit. All right, and this guy's doing a little bit too much. But that's fine. We can easily just turn it down until it looks less unnatural. So about there is pretty good. Ideally, if you're doing this background, you'll light it a little bit more high key than we did here. But just that easy, we have, I call that a very acceptable key. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you liked to give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And no matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Mr. Media YouTube channel. We're continuing our 15 Days as DaVinci 15 tutorial series. We're doing all sorts of DaVinci and Fusion stuff. I still got, I still need to do some Fairlight tutorials. We'll get those in there. Don't you worry. Also, while this is going on, you can go over to MeesterMedia.com slash products and type in the promo code RESOLVE15 for 15% off your entire order. Once again, I'm Theo with Meesner Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.